key to being a good YouTuber is never really answer the questions. Keep them hanging. They'll come back for more. Or they'll unsubscribe and then you just fail miserably at YouTube. Good morning, everybody. It's morning, trust me. I am well aware that it's morning. My computer for work just decided it wasn't going to work this morning, so I'm letting the ranger warm up for a little while. It's a beautiful day. The, the birds are chirping. Rangers purring, well, no, no, no. Cars purr, trucks growl. So the Rangers growling, listen to her. I'd almost rather listen to that than listen to the birds purr. I'm gonna go to work. Actually, I'm just gonna go to work. Y'all hang out here to the end of the day. daily tradition now is seeing how far I can coast. I'm currently going about 20 miles an hour trying to coast as far as I can. It saves gas! It's okay. I can waste a little gas. I parked beside a Tesla today. hours later and the like two days a couple hours and a couple days went home the other day was exhausted so I took a nap came home today uh, actually had to leave early so we could take Leah to a doctor's appointment in because she was really dizzy and came home took a three and a half hour long nap so I was gonna come out here and fly my drone around the park I just realized I left the remote controller at the house crap So to end today's video, I figured we'd do a question and answer. I put a little live video up like 10 minutes ago asking people to ask questions. Don't have time for a lot, so we didn't get a lot. So that worked out pretty well. That's kind of sad. First question comes from Jody Nichols. Jody, thank you for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Jody asks, what kind of camera do you use and have you ever used a GoPro? So the camera I use, see if this will work. Yeah, that worked. So this is a Canon T3i. I can't believe this is actually, this is working really well. Uh, so this is the camera I use. It's a Canon T4i. Sorry, I used to use a Canon T3i, but I switched to the 4i when I traded a guitar for this one, and I have loved this thing ever since. It has autofocus. Uh, it'll focus differently, like when I'm filming, just by touching. See, it'll see if it'll focus on that and take me out, or we can focus right back here and I'll focus back there. Focus, see if that works. See now I'm out of focus, and the background is in focus, and now. I'm in focus. Nope, not yet. It's slow. It's not. It's not the newest technology. 
it's probably because it's so dark. This is not working, y'all. This is, you're doing horrible, camera. Okay, so anyway, now I'm in focus. It, it, it works a lot better when there's actually daylight. There's, it, it's dark as you can. But anyway, this is a T4i. Uh, they have like a T7i now, which I would love to get. One day I will. And then this stand below it here, that is a Manfrotto uh, mini stand mini tripod or something i can't remember what it's called i bought it on amazon it was super cheap uh second party question no i have never used oh there's a good looking guy look at that good looking look at that guy can you see who's he can you see hey you... second party question no i have never used a gopro i have used the cheap gopros i'm not a like i want one i want a gopro for to put like on the car or on the truck uh to get in this type places because this thing has been through a lot it's actually fallen off of the car uh it has fallen several times and it's very tough but i would like to get a gopro the only problem that was loud the only problem i have with gopros is the way that the old ones aren't like a flat image a flat wide image like this it's more of a fisheye image so it would be kind of weird looking that's the only problem i've ever had with gopro but i think they've actually stopped doing that so father's day is coming up leah perhaps i would like a gopro She's sitting right over there. Next question comes from Erin Egger. She says, never bought a country album, vinyl that is, and I want to expand my music horizons. What is a good first choice to look for? Basically anything out there. The oldies are the best in my choice, uh, but yeah, anything Willie, Waylon, Johnny, uh, Chris Christopherson, he's my favorite. Uh, Glenn Campbell, he actually just passed away like last year, so his albums are being more popular right now. I would look for Willin, Willin, Willie, Willie, Waylon, Johnny, or Chris, any of the four highwaymen. If you can find Patsy Cline, you need to just mail it to me because I would love it. Anything, yeah, this list could go on forever. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Anything Willie, Waylon, Johnny, Chris, Glenn Campbell, Patty, Pat, Pat, Patsy Cline, uh, Loretta Lynn, Amy Lou Harris. Uh, really, we need to be talking to Casey on this. He could give us a lot more examples. And, and Dolly Parton, anything, any of those. Dolly Parton, you can never go wrong with. Especially if you can find Joshua. You can also send me that one. I knew Jesus before he was a superstar. So, next question, also same person, comes from Aaron Egger. Says, also, what's a good camping spot in North Carolina with two kids? We are from New Jersey. So first off, I'm gonna have to block you because you're from New Jersey. I hate that place. I've only been in New Jersey for like uh, three hours because we were stuck in traffic in New Jersey trying to get to New York. We gave up. Anyway, I won't block you. I'm just messing with you. Uh, I would say with two kids, depends what kind of camping you want. If you are into like you want a camper and um, power and toilets and showers, I don't really know a lot of those. That one that we've been going to with my parents out in Whittier, it's not bad, um, but yeah. you're okay with no power. Uh, there are bathrooms and having to put up with elk and bear, <laughs> jerks. Um, Catalucci is by far my all time favorite camping place from when I was a kid. We actually haven't stayed there as a family yet because it's so popular now. But yeah, any of the parks, you can Catalucci do free. Valley. Yeah, Catalucci Valley, not the ski ranch. And last question from Zay the Skater. He says, how are you such a good YouTuber? Well, Zay, I'll tell you what. Got you fooled, I guess that's what I'll tell you. Ow. Hey, kid. I've made almost 400 vid... <laughs> this is impossible right now. <laughs> Family moment, all right, come on in here, everybody. Um, I don't have a secret for the... Don't touch the camera. <laughs> Having a family helps make good YouTube, I think. Um, I don't have a secret for making YouTube videos. I would just say it comes from making a lot of videos. I've made almost 400 videos and just being confident and never looking at the screen over there and looking right here. That I look at that thing all the time and it's a pet peeve of mine. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, just keep at it and just try to look at life every day and have fun with it because everybody's got crappy lives and people, the only reason they really watch YouTube is so they can see somebody else being happy. What was that? <laughs> he spit up and you just wiped it on me? I think it was his drool. Also having a crazy wife helps. Yeah, she's crazy hot. Okay, that's the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the... <laughs> what are Sorry, you reading? I'm reading your lyrics. <laughs> oh. That's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like hey, bye. and subscribe you hit the like button <laughs>
That's what I was trying to say. And make sure you subscribe for more. Thank you guys for the questions, and we will see you hasta mañana. I think I just said we will see you. We will see you tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow's vlogs would just be all in Spanish. I'm in love with you.